Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. We're ready to install our rear oil seal. Goes in this area here. Before we put the seal in, we have to put in our spacers that we developed when we did our crankshaft end play computation. So these are the four spacers that we used. Uh, you may have as, as few as two or three. You may have as many as five, depending on how your engine actually uh, measured out when you measured the end play. But now is the time that you put those in there. So they just slide on the crank right in this area here, go all the way in until they're against the thrust washer in there, and then uh, or the thrust bearing. And then this is our seal. This is what we're going to install in this area here. Before we do push it in there, though, we're going to put some sealer on it. And I'm going to put on my rubber glove to keep some of this from getting on my hands. We're just going to use RTV, a red high temp RTV on this particular application. So that's the sealer we're going to use. Put a nice coating of that all the way around the periphery of the seal here. Once we get some on there, I'll actually just spread it around into a nice even coat all the way around there, which is why I put the glove on. There we go. Now that we've got our sealer on there, we'll get it lined up. It'll kind of start in on its own. Push it in a little bit with your fingers. Once you get it to that point, you just simply use a plastic hammer. all the way in. Make sure it's inside the edge of the case so it's not protruding out beyond the, the case rim here. Make sure it's nice and tucked in there. We'll take a rag uh, later and we'll clean up this excess sealer and you're all set. Now this area is ready for the installation of your flywheel. We're ready to install our flywheel. You'll remember in a previous clip that we uh, temporarily installed the flywheel and I talked about the fact that the pins on the end of the crankshaft are set in such a way that uh, the flywheel will only go on in one orientation. What I've done again is I've marked the two uh, dowel pin holes that are closer together than the others and those will correspond with the two dowel pins on the uh, crankshaft end that are closer together uh, and that'll give us the proper alignment of our flywheel on our crankshaft. Before we put it on there, we're going to turn it over. This is the side that goes towards the engine. And we're going to put some red RTV sealer in this area where the crankshaft and the uh, flywheel interface. So I'm going to put on my glove. I'm going to take some RTV and rub it in here. I'm going to try to leave a little bit right next to where my mark is so that I can still see my mark. A good coating around the, around the periphery here. I'll 
get that dispersed nice and evenly around the outer area there where the crank interfaces. All right. Remove my glove. Now we're gonna get our marks lined up. I'm looking at the crankshaft, sighting down through the holes there. Push it all the way on. You'll see some squeeze out from the RTV that you installed. Now the crank, uh, flywheel's on the crank. Here's our flywheel nut and washer. It's a, a special wavy washer that goes on the gland nut. Simply place that over the gland nut. Gland nut goes right in the center there. Thread it in by hand. Snug it up. Now this is the place where you're going to want some help. Uh, a lot of builders will bolt a, a piece of 2x4 or uh, some kind of a long uh, arm that they can just temporarily bolt on the prop hub and have a helper hold the prop hub while they use their large torque wrench and their 36 millimeter socket and this nut will be torqued to 227 pound feet. It's a big, uh, big nut on there, 227 pound feet takes quite a bit of leverage so you're going to need somebody to help you hold the engine so that the crank doesn't turn when you torque that up. Once you get that torqued up, your flywheel's all set.